Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist, and welcome back to Fridays Forgotten. This is the show where we look at a exercise that unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for some of them, have been forgotten or just kind of disappeared from the gym. This week, after spending a few weeks working with our hands, including this evil broom back here behind me. If you missed last week, I'll put a link up here at the top. I think it's this side where we did broom lifting. We're going to work our way up the arm to the bicep. Everybody likes to work their arms a little bit, right? And this week we're going to look at Vince Gironda's drag curl. Who is Vince Gironda? He is one of the original strength guru bodybuilders of the earlier part of the 1900s, also known as the Iron Guru. He invented a lot of the original kind of isolation bodybuilding exercises and built a tremendous physique back in the late 40s, early 50s. The curl that he proposed or promoted, invented maybe. I, there's always disputes about things like that and everything, but especially in the gym because there are probably lots of guys doing it, but he just made it more popular. Is instead of curling away from your body like you typically see and the elbow sliding forward, you literally drag the bar up your body and your elbow comes back some. What this does is it takes the whole shoulder out of the equation and really forces the bicep and the brachialis, which is a, a deeper muscle in here, to do all of the work, which helps to build a, a thicker, denser bicep. Let's head out to the gym and we'll have a look at what, uh, what this looks like in practice. The first thing you're going to want to do with the drag curl is check your ego at the door. You're going to definitely use a good deal of weight less than you do with a traditional curl if you're doing it right. And a lot of people use more weight than they really should be for a traditional curl and you get some kind of cheating action on where you're using a little momentum, which isn't necessarily completely wrong. There's a time and a place for that even, but that's not today. So I would recommend for most people, unless you're curling hundreds of pounds, just start with the bar. See how it feels. Then you can always add more. If you're you know, a smaller person, 110 pounds, and haven't lifted for very long, or if your arms are just weak, especially if you had an injury to them or something, you may want to start with something even lighter than the bar. You know, Grab a, a broomstick with a couple plates on it or you know, grab a, a training bar that weighs maybe 10, 15 pounds. Just get something light to get the feel first because it's a little bit different of a movement. Take the bar, and I'm gonna do this sideways and facing you so it's a little easier to see. And you're gonna hold it just wider than shoulder width. So for most of you, probably wider than you normally would hold the bar. It's a good hand space, so like four or five inches wider than I normally have my hand for regular curls. Then you're going to take the bar and basically you're going to drag it right up your body. See how my arm's going in a straight line until you get to your chin. And then you're going to let it slide straight back down, controlling it back down. Now, notice how my elbows stay where they start or even go back a little, they don't come forward. So a regular curl looks like this, right? That's a little exaggerated just so you can see the difference. But see how my elbows come way forward? And in this movement, my shoulder up here, my shoulder is doing a fair amount of work to help out. But when you keep this close to your body, then you're basically pulling the bar in a straight line, the shoulder can't help out. 
So this is all bicep. And some forearm muscles, of course, but not a lot of shoulder involved here. This is also a good exercise if you have some shoulder problems going on and you say, when I do curls, it bothers my shoulder. This should be a good solution for that. Now, see if I do this from the front. My hands a little bit wider than normal. If I was doing these normal, I'd have my hands right about here or sometimes even here, just depending on how it feels. And see how my elbows stay pretty much with my body or even come forward a little? That's a regular barbell curl. With the drag curl, hands out here a little wider, bar comes straight up my body, right to about my chin, elbows stay back, and bar goes straight down my body. Goes up, goes back down. Good. Let's do a couple more with a little more weight. curl remember start with a little bit less weight than you would normally this is a hundred pounds it's probably a little heavy for me honestly I could do three but this is an exercise you really want to do a couple sets of ten and really feel the muscles in here fill up with blood so I would do a little bit less weight than you think Really concentrate on squeezing it at the top up here and keep the bar right against your body the whole way up, the whole way down. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've never subscribed, you enjoy this kind of thing, we have videos every Friday. Consider clicking that red button down here in the corner and subscribing. If you're already subscribed, thank you. We're now up to 45 subscribers as of this afternoon. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Any exercise you've heard of that you have a question about, leave it below. I'll definitely reach out and answer you, and there's a good chance we can make a video about that as well. Till next week, remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.